Hey there everybody, Chris here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about consolette enclosures. So here at Protocase, we custom manufacture just about every kind of electronic enclosure. Because we're a lean, fast manufacturer, we can make your enclosure design in the dimensions that you need in the exact quantity that you require. Cody did an awesome rundown of all the common enclosure styles in a previous prototype tip, and we've also dug into specific enclosures like rack mounts and extruded aluminum enclosures. But for today's video, I wanted to focus on consolette enclosures. And I already have an enclosure here that's a little taken apart, just to show you that consolette enclosures are made up of three main parts. You have the cover, you have the rear, and you have the base. Consolettes are typically used for mounting small control or instrumentation devices where the desirable access requires 30 or 60 degree surfaces. These types of enclosures are popular for interface systems as they can contain screens and keyboards for use of an operator. The angled face makes this setup ideal. Consolette enclosures can also be mounted on either of the two sides for placement on desktops, pedestals, or other flat surfaces. For example, you could achieve an ergonomic setup style for a machine operator, perhaps if they had to view a screen and type on a keyboard or input buttons on the below face. Consolettes do come in a few different variations. The standard consolette style has a cover with a flat top, an angled face, and a vertical face at the bottom. There's also a slope top consolette, which is a two-piece enclosure with an angled face and a vertical face. There's no top or flat horizontal face at the top on the cover. There's a tiered consolette, which has a vertical face, angled face, and two tiers of horizontal faces on the cover. And finally, a recessed consolette, which has the standard consolette's cover with a base and a rear that has custom recess or a step built into the back. All of these consolette styles are available in our free CAD design program called Protocase Designer and on our template generator on our website. And as with all of our custom enclosures and parts, consolette enclosures can be finished with one of our many finishes in order to get the look and functionality that you require. This includes powder coat, grain finish, vibratory finish, media blasting, and masking, provided that your design's geometry and dimensions fall within our manufacturing capabilities. You can also offer chemical conversion coating or anodizing if your consolette is aluminum. Passivation is also an option for stainless steel if you don't want to do powder coat. And also don't forget you can finish a custom consolette design with graphics or permanent marking. And here at Protocase, we offer direct digital printing, silk screening, laser engraving, machine engraving, and also dot peening. You can also combine the consolette style with our 1U and 2U extrusions to make an extruded consolette. Extruded consolettes use a 1U aluminum extrusion in the front with a 2U extrusion in the rear with a sloped panel on top and a flat panel on the bottom. Just like a standard consolette, extruded consolette enclosures are ideal for mounting control or instrument devices on a sloped surface. Plus, you can use the extrusion's grooves for easily mounting printed circuit boards within the enclosure itself. You can learn more about this in one of our prototype videos called Custom Extruded Aluminum Enclosures, where I give a rundown on the different enclosure styles that are available using our extruded aluminum. Or you can visit our website if you're more of a reading type, We've got links in the description below for those resources, as well as Protocase Designer and our free template generator. So that's it for today's Proto Tech Tip. Thank you all for watching, and make sure to subscribe and comment below with your feedback. We'll see you back here again next week.